What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I know long time no see. I have not created any content, nor have I did any recording, posted anything in the last nine months. Um, so much has happened and I'm just gonna try to keep it as brief as possible because I have a tendency to make long-winded <laughs> videos and my goal is to be extremely brief today. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my notes and jump right into everything, where I've been, what happened, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, I've been missing you guys so much. Like every time I would think about my channel and creating content and watching other people's channels, it just made me sad because I was like, dang, I really did not have the time or the energy to focus on that, to create the content. And it was, it was, it was sad. So here we are today and I'm just giving you basically a life update of what happened. As everybody knows, the world has changed tremendously. So yeah, I'm not even gonna get into all that, but I'm gonna get into my story, so. So first things first, we jumped into the new year and um, I was trying to finish up school. Um, I was working and schooling, which is nothing new. Um, I feel like over time, you know, work kind of increased uh, with various things that we were doing. And then also like school was increasing because it was my senior year, um, part of my senior year and um, during the second half of the semester is when we start shooting and filming for our senior thesis films. So yeah, I was focused on that basically. And yeah, so I was pretty much like on set every weekend um, with my classmates. Uh, we were split into groups. So I think there was like five or six in my group and everyone had to do a short uh, senior film. So, which means we only had, we had two production weeks, weekends. They give us Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And if you needed to film throughout the week during class time, we could work together amongst our schedules and film. So pretty much from January, which is the time school start till about March, I was on set every weekend. Um, and then my particular shoot was in the, I think mine was the first two weeks of February. Um, I ended up, I think I ended up getting an extension because we were supposed to have like a break. So it might've been mid, -fe mid February when I started shooting my movie. So yeah, so we got through all that. <laughs> and then my job asked me to uh, help produce, direct and uh, record, well that's not what we say, but um, film, a short film. And that was a lot of work. Um, it was, it was an experience. I really enjoyed it. Like, it just helped me to further see that I was in my element because I knew, I knew I was loving what I was doing. And that particularly, like, part of my job, my main title was video editor, which I did a lot of other things amongst video editing. But producing and directing is where my heart is in the film industry. So yeah, so I was helping them doing that. And then it was my job. And so it was coming together really nicely. And then COVID hit on a more serious note and shut everything down. So we had to hurry up and wrap up filming. And then when COVID hit, it's just like, oh, we can't meet in person at church anymore. And so everything shifted to online, which means that was double the work for me, my department, the media team at church. And it was, it was a crazy busy transition. There was just so much going on and I just never thought that I would be working as hard as I was like, and one thing about me, I'm going to work. Okay. I'm going, I'm going to work. And, but I, and I'm going to work hard, but I just did not expect within a quick amount of time that I'd be working as many hours as I was working. So basically I went from about 60 to about 80 ish hours on average to about 100 to 100 plus hours every two weeks. That's how much I was working, trying to make sure that, you know, our services were online, you know, as perfect as possible, getting content out to the members, everything like that. It was just, it was a lot. So I wasn't just doing editing, I was doing the production, I was doing the filming, I was doing the editing. So doing it all, um, and then trying to finish school. Like I felt like, I, honestly, by the grace of God, I think I got a B and two A's. I didn't even, I don't even know how. I finished because when March hit, like school was the least of my concerns. And you know, that's crazy to say that, but because I was so focused on getting ready to graduate, but I could not think about school in that moment. My job, the ministry was 
was more important, more priority at that moment. And so, um, yeah, I barely <laughs> just passed. Um, you know, we were doing classes online. Um, I was doing a senior seminar, um, which we were supposed to have a big senior show and that got canceled obviously. And then we were supposed to, uh, I was supposed to have my final movie edited, ready to go and all that. So long story short, I had a heart to heart with my professor. I was like, look, I can't do it right now. I'm not graduating till December. Can I get an extension to December to finish this? So that worked out in my favor. Um, so yeah, finished school, getting through the rest of the COVID transitions and things of that nature. And so it was just so much with work. Like we went from like a church to having to be a production company, essentially a production house, a production company, video, film, everything. And um, pretty much I was in the midst and the eye of all of that. Like uh, later down the line, we got some more help, um, which was definitely needed. Um, and so even during that time, um, at my job, I have my own office in my own space. So I could potentially stay in my office and not really be amongst people um, because we were trying to be careful with the COVID guidelines. And basically I was one of those frontline positions because in order to film people, you have to physically be there. They have to physically be there, you know, wear your mask, sanitize, socially distant, all that. And then it got to a point where we were having too many, not, we didn't have a whole lot of breakouts. We had like two or three and we had to be mindful, you know? And so then it was like, we'll go back to working from home. So then I was working from home, trying to do school from home, all that. And then eventually I kind of like flip flop between, between working at home and then working um, at the church because I, as I said, I'm like more frontline. I need to be there to record and all that and do all the editing. I did majority of my editing stuff at the house. Even in the midst of all that, um, like I said, we had had a few COVID break outs, like one or two cases. And then I just remember having, having to be tested two or three times, which is excruciatingly painful. And I was over it, <laughs> but by the grace of God, I still have not caught it and don't have any intentions of catching it. Praise God. I'm trying to be safe out here. So, um, and then in the midst of all that, I was supposed to do summer school. I didn't end up doing summer school because of everything that was going on. I was like, there's no way that I can do summer school and pour into the ministry like I'm pouring right now. It's just, it ain't gonna happen. So I just put school on the back burner into the fall. Um, school started early. So instead of going back mid, late August, we started early August. So I think the first day was August 10th. So um, yeah, so I was schooling <laughs> in the process of still working 110 hours. Uh, every week, every other, every two weeks. Um, and then also I was taking about three classes. Um, so, and I'm still taking those three classes right now. Um, they decided to do the semesters in blocks. So for the first block, I only had three classes and the second block just started today, which is October 1st. Um, so I had two more classes. So the first three classes that I'm taking are semester long. So now I'm technically full. I was full time, but now I'm full time with the addition of two extra classes that will last from now until November-ish and I graduate December 4th. So I'm excited for that. In the midst of all that, I big chopped. Um, there will be a whole separate video on that. Um, yeah, I just, my hair was like down here. I was just like, just cut it. We'll, we'll talk about that another time. It's actually grown back because it was a lot shorter. This is the second time that I've got it done. It was a lot shorter than this. So it's grown back tremendously fast. Um, and so with all that going on, the working, the schooling, um, there was just, I had to make a tough decision in, in the midst of all that. Um, my previous job, I loved it so much. And that was a dead giveaway previous job. I loved it so much. I love the people that I work with. I love what I was doing, but I could not work that many hours or be that invested and give them everything that they wanted and focus on school at the same time. And so basically I resigned from my position. Um, that was hard. Like I said, extremely hard. I had been working for the church two and a half years. Well, not half, but two years and some change. And it was bittersweet for me to say goodbye and to, to walk away from that temporarily, at least to figure things out, uh, get back on track with school, have enough time to do my schoolwork and all that. 
Um, so yeah, that was hard. That was hard. They actually uh, threw me a going away party and I cried the entire time. So that just goes to show how much I really loved being there and the people that were there. And they're still family, still my church fam, all that. But it's just different. It's completely different. And I still volunteer uh, with the video ministry because that's how I even started. Before I was offered a position, I started on um, video ministry helping and serving. And um, so that's what I'm doing now. Um, so it's been, it's been different. I mean, I've had a little bit more downtime. I still am kind of busy, but I have more flexibility now than I did before, obviously. And I ended up getting another part-time job working way less hours and making way less money. But this is only temporary just until December. So yeah, that was tough. And then in the process of everything that was going on, you know, I was still battling anxiety, still de battling depression and trying to figure out where that was coming from. And basically, the anxiety and depression was stemming from an, a health issue that I've had for two years now, which I did not know. And that'll be another separate video because it's a long story. But, um, you know, so yeah, and just trying to keep my spirits lifted and all that, it was just, it was really, really tough, you know, but at the same time, what I'm grateful for with the people that I work with and with my family being and friends being a huge support um, they've allowed me to not forget that I've accomplished so much in that time frame from the time COVID hit until now, even before then I had just invested so much and had done and accomplished so much. I've learned so much in all of that. And, um, you know, I'm just grateful for the process in the end and grateful for the growth. Um, you know, being taken out of your comfort zone causes you to grow. And I can definitely say that within these past a few months, I've definitely grown a lot. Even from the last time I posted a video, um, you know, I was just so, I was trying to make it back to normal, but I was still kind of downtrodden with a lot of things like, uh, yeah. So, um, but yeah, more, more details to come. Another video about what my health issue was and what was causing the depression and anxiety. Um, you know, during this time, even though like everything was still kind of fast paced, but I had small moments where it was like things were catching up to me and I had to slow down and it's revealed so much to me in this time. Um, and just the, how the world has changed from politics to police brutality, to this sickness, to I'm just shook at the world that we live in and the kind of leadership that we have. It's disheartening. But in the midst of all that, God is, and God is still in control. But yeah, this is just my update. Like I said, I'll be back with another video to kind of explain uh, the cliffhanger of my health issue and share that with you all. Like I said, I've missed you guys so much, and I pray that you're doing well and as well as you can um, during this time. Stay strong, stay black, stay proud, stay, stay um, prayed up, okay, because the enemy is not here to play games with us this year so um love you all and i'll catch you guys in the next upload don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you guys